In this tip, I'm going to show you how to calculate the most frequent value in a measure. As an example, I've built a chart here that shows the quantity ordered and the number of orders that contain that quantity. The idea for this tip is to figure out, well, how can I bring back just this one number of 2409? I'm going to show you how to do that with both level of detail expressions and table calculations. So let's get started. First, I'm going to go ahead and right click on the quantity field and create bins. And I'm going to set them to the size of 1. The reason I'm doing this is just to show you the bar chart that I showed you in the example. Okay, so now we can see we have uh, the quantity of 3 has the most orders at 2,409. Another way that we could do this is we could drag quantity to the columns, change the field to a dimension, and then change it to discrete. And you see we have 1 through 14. In the previous example, we also have 1 through 14. Let's drag orders to the rows shelf, turn on our labels, and again, we see the same view. So bins are not necessary for this to calculate the value we're looking for. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to bring back just this 2,409 number. So to do that, I'm going to create a calculated field. And I'm going to call this max order quantity. The first thing I want to do is I want to write a fixed level of detail expression on the quantity. So this is going to turn the quantity into a dimension like I did in the second example. And then all I want to return is the sum of 1. Basically return the count of the number of orders. If I drag that into the view, you'll see I get 9,994 because that's the number of orders that are in our data set. I'm going to drag quantity to the columns, make it a dimension, and make it discrete. And again, we see the same view we had before. Great, but now all we want to return is this maximum number. So I'm going to edit my calculation again, and I'm going to wrap this inside of another detail, level of detail expression. So I'm going to put another mustachio, and then max, a bracket, and then at the end I'm going to put a bracket and a Musashio. So what this is now telling us is first bring back the, the number of records for each quantity and then take the maximum of those values. So let's hit OK and notice now my table turns into 2409 all the way across the view. I can now take quantity off the columns. Maybe I just want to put the max quantity on the labels and make it a nice big number. And there we go. This is our max order quantity with the level of detail expression. So how will we do the same thing with the table calculation? Well, let's go ahead to sheet two, and I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate that. And what I want to do now is I'm going to create a calculated field. This is going to be my max uh, order quantity. And I'll put TC for table calc. This time I'm going to use a window max the count. I'll just go ahead and drag in my count orders into the calculation. Hit OK. And I'm going to drag that into the rows. And you see I now have 2,409. I'm going to edit my table calculation. Make sure I choose specific dimensions for quantity. I can remove count of orders from the view. Now that we have all of these values showing the same across the view, I need to tell Tableau to only keep one of these values. To do that, I'm going to first create a calculated field called first. And all this is going to have in it is the table calculation first. Hit OK, and then right click on it and make it discrete. When I drag that to the columns, we now get numbers across the bottom that go from 0 to minus 13. What that tells you is how far are you from the first value. I'm going to configure this table calc to compute using quantity, drag it to the filters, and keep only 0. And now you can see we have 2,409. I need to move the quantity field to the detail shelf, 
move the max of uh, my, my maximum calculation to the labels, configure that again to be 72 point. And now we have the same value. Now the reason I had to put quantity on the detail shelf is because that's what my table calculation is computing on. So I hope you found that helpful. Have a great day.